So many of you know of the recent events that are happening in the world or more in Europe, specifically in France. It was a big shock for a lot of people. And oftentimes when something catastrophic like this happens, especially since it's done by people, we start to question whether we can have an influence there, we can, if we can change something. And oftentimes we feel like we can. We feel powerless and insignificant. But, but, but we tend to forget that that experience that whatever that person did, that it was still done by a human being, it was still done by a human person. If we had been in his shoes, if we had had the same experience, grew up in the same uh, environment, grew up with the same teachings, whatever he experienced, probably we would have had made the same decision. We all have our weaknesses, we all have our our difficulties, our challenges, circumstances that, that uh, mold us into who we are. And luckily, most of us probably who are watching this video, we had you know, good parents or a good house or good education, and even so, not everyone. But then we are looking to the bright side of life. But sometimes even ourselves, we have dark sides and dark, dark days. I'm not trying to justify whatever that person did. Not at all. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm not saying that we're all good and everything is good. But when we think about ourselves and our ability to make a change in this world, it's a lot connected with realizing that we are all connected and as I said, we're all in the same boat. We all share the same experiences. Whatever that the person went through, he had probably on a very big level, this disillusionment, this disconnection, this separation, but, but we all have that sense of separation in our lives. We all have that lack of, a feeling of lack of purpose where we want to, um, where we want to have a purpose. And sometimes it's, in, in that moment, it's so easy to take a purpose which is bad, which is not real, which is not uh, true, which is, which is a negative purpose and still be happy about it. And, you know, if it's a suicide mission, if it's presented as a purpose and I have a lack of purpose, it might just feel right for that person in that moment, although it's totally not. But when we look at our own experience again, we also have those emotions, we also have those doubts. Where I feel that our lives as individuals and as a community is uh, very important and very significant is in the fact that since we are all in the same boat, we all have a universal human being experience, those problems that I face in my life, if I don't solve it on a personal level, then I will not be able to help others in that difficulty. If I am not able to solve it on my level and on the level of my community, then other people might get hurt or other people might take wrong decisions, bad decisions. So. In my experience, it's just so important that we focus on our own evolution, that we face the dark side of our experience, that we, are, that we transform it, that we become better, that, that we inspire not only ourselves, but in that way we inspire others. And I feel that definitely has a chance to change this world. Since everything is so connected, especially in this modern day, we don't really always know what influence we have other, over other people. And, it can be even a theoretical uh, example of Facebook. You know, if you post a certain quote you come up with or a certain experience or a certain video of yourself where you discovered something that helped you release your fears, helped you define and realize your purpose and you share it somewhere, you don't know who it's gonna touch or your life, the way you live your life, the way you present your life, you don't know who's gonna be touched by that. Maybe a person who would become a potential terrorist might hear that and that might be all he needed. Or maybe, you know, there's a random conversation in the street you might have with the person who's about to do something really bad and you can change his life without even knowing. So that, that fact that we don't know what specific influence we have over, over other people, we have to recognize that. We have to recognize that we are important, we are connected. Since we're all on the same boat, if I will be able to clean my own crap, that will influence the crap of others. Others will have an easier time to do that too. Others will see at least an example. We don't necessarily have to go to the heart of terrorism, all the, all the darkness, and try to fix it there. If my hands are going to be dirty and I'm going to try to fix something, I'm just going to make it dirty too. 
first of all, it's most important to clean our own hands. And if you're inspired to do something specifically about that, if you have a genuine passion about it, then yes, I would say you have to do something about it. But we're not all meant to solve the biggest problems of the world, but we can solve so much by solving what's in our personal experience, which is actually a universal experience. The more we will evolve, the more we will transform, the better we will become, the more this world people will become better, just as a natural outcome. So if you find yourself feeling desperate, if you find yourself feeling insignificant, don't. Just remember that whatever you go through, others are also going through that. And for some people, it can have devastating effects if they don't solve it. It's our responsibility, it's our importance to solve that in our own lives, to share it with others, to, to live a good life, to, to show a good example, and that can just make so much difference. So I really want to encourage you to do that. As a very quick side note, just since I'm an Aikido instructor and, and our channel is related to Aikido, to those who are practicing Aikido, I would like to say that remember that Aikido is about that. Osensei really became uh, driven by Aikido after World War II, after Hiroshima and Nagasaki, when he realized that we are going to something really bad. We can destroy ourselves and we need something new. We need a fresh new perspective. And that's how he presented Aikido. That's how, why he evolved Aikido into what it's supposed to be. But if we will, as spoken in the previous videos, if we're going to fight between each other, if we're going to try to make Aikido in this best ultimate fighter, I kick ass martial art, this is not going to help this world situation. You have to, we have to grow out of it. And Aikido has that ground for that. And we just have to tap into it and really realize what Aikido is meant to be and live it. And that might actually also help this crapped up situation that uh, sometimes we are facing. So whether you do Aikido or you're living your life, Remember, you are important. Remember, whatever you're going through, others are going through as well. And if you solve it in your life, that might just change so much.